Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics. So, we have been talking about multiple regression. In the last lecture, we have actually shown you how a multiple regression would we can visualize with the different explanatory variable. We had education and experience as our explanatory variables and we had our dependent variable earnings. So, we had two independent variable, one dependent variable and we kind of showed you how can, how can I represent that regression equation with this plane where I had drawn line corresponding to uh, education and corresponding to earning, right? And then we kind of got the resultant plane. Now, now that was the visual depiction of this uh, whole idea. Now, how will it look when we actually work with the, the data set? So, let me actually show you a data set. Let us say I want to sort of uh, explain the cholesterol level of people with their level of exercise and with their age, okay? So, it is intuitive to sort of, you know, intuitively you can understand that cholesterol level uh, might have some relationship with exercise and cholesterol level might also have some relationship with age. So, what, what should be the uh, intuitive understanding behind it? So, if I do exercise, usually I can say that my cholesterol level probably would go down and with age, usually we know that, you know, as people grow old, the cholesterol level actually increases a little bit and let us say this is bad cholesterol, you are not talking about good cholesterol. So, you will see that uh, these numbers we have and you know like we have like observation for 12 individuals. So, let us say we are keeping the data set short so, so that we can just get the concept here. Um, and the, we also have the exercise, there are some units, let us say this is a you know amount of time like everybody spends every day in exercise and age is age in years, all right. Now, we need to sort of understand how the concept of multiple regression is playing a role, would play a role here to explain uh, the cholesterol level uh, and as, a, as, a, as an outcome of exercise and age. Now, let me actually show you the plot. So, actually I have plotted, what I have plotted here is the cholesterol and exercise. So, my cholesterol is a y variable, the dependent variable and my exercise is the explanatory variable, the x variable, right. Now, if we look, if we go back and you see that this is some, something interesting about this diagram. So, the interesting part of this diagram is, so I see that the, you know, my cholesterol level is actually increasing with my level of exercise. So, that is kind of counterintuitive because if I am doing exercise, usually I can think that my cholesterol level should go down, but it is happening on the contrary. Now, what I am doing here, so let us say then uh, now that we know a little bit of regression, we actually uh, run a regression and let us say I have run the regression. So, the first regression here, I will just show you here is this. So, I just take, uh, because I am interested to know the impact of uh, exercise on cholesterol, what I have taken here is I simply have taken uh, cholesterol as the dependent variable and my exercise as the independent variable, all right. Now, if I actually see the regression result here, let us actually explain the regression result. So, we will we'll actually talk about this whole table later on, but for now, we will just concern, focus on the coefficient uh, for this different explanatory variables and the p-value, just these two items we will focus on for now. Now, if I run the regression between cholesterol and exercise, what I see is that the exercise has a coefficient which is 2.206 and it has a corresponding p value which is approximately closely equal to 0. So, uh, we know that a very for a low, a low p value, we would say that the alternate, we cannot, you know, we sort of reject the null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis that is the exercise is actually impacting the cholesterol level is sort of, we kind of accept that. Now, if that is the case, then the exercise uh, is actually what it shows that the, the result shows that exercise has a positive impact on cholesterol level. So, that means if you do exercise, your cholesterol level is actually increasing, right? And that too, it is significant because your p value, the p value you get here is actually uh, close to 0. So, that is actually showing the significance. Now, that does not make sense really, right? I mean, how come the exercise is actually impacting, uh, you know, like increasing the cholesterol level? Now, being curious about this uh, whole scenario, what I did is actually, I thought let me actually, you know, run a regression where I will have the cholesterol level in my y axis. So, here this cholesterol level I am representing at col as a variable and, uh, you know, and, and the dependent variable, uh, the independent variable as age, you know, in the x axis. So, let us see what happened here. 
Now, when I run this regression, what I see is that, well, uh, I am again focusing on the coefficient age and its corresponding uh, p value. And what I see is age is again positive 1.9. So, which means if I go back to the previous diagram, which would mean like if I have just, if I take one variable, let us say this uh, uh, one x variable and this let us say this is age and if I actually plot it here. So, what I will have is that the coefficient value which I am getting as 1.94. So, it will be something like that. So, that is basically represented by this beta coefficient, right, uh, only for age when I do. So, it will somewhat show if I kind of use this diagram for representing the cholesterol and age, I can actually write cholesterol and age in this axis and if I plot it, it will show a positive uh, trend. And the same thing is true when we have done uh, cholesterol and exercise. Now, how, what is going on here? So, it means that this table actually makes sense because with age cholesterol level is increasing, that kind of makes sense, that is intuitive. But the previous one, the cholesterol level is also increasing with exercise, that really does not make sense. Now, how do I this result? And to actually to make sense of this result, OLS with one explanatory variable is not sufficient. This diagram, this uh, visualization, this uh, concept of one variable regression is not able to actually sufficiently explain the, the phenomena that is happening. So, what we have to do is we actually have to do a multiple regression or table to, to see uh, how the multiple regression is playing a role here. So, let me actually run a regression where I have uh, plotted both cholesterol, cholesterol as a dependent variable and the age and exercise both as independent. Now, when I run this regression with uh, both the variables exercise and age as dependent variable, we see something different. And what we see here? We see that, we see that exercise is now it has become negative. You see it is, it is a negative sign to it, right? Whereas age, it has remained positive. And if, if we know how to read the p values, so we will know that the p value here for exercise is significant, it is 0 0.05, and p value for age is, of course, significant. It is, uh, I mean, it is kind of showing the significance. So it is uh, 0. You know, 0, 0, 0, which is basically close to, very close to 0. So that means the area basically uh, for the corresponding t is very low. So, that means the uh, you sort of accept the alternative hypothesis or you reject the null hypothesis, all right. So, that means the you reject the null hypothesis that age does not have any impact on uh, cholesterol level or on similarly exercise does not have any exercise uh, any impact on the cholesterol level. So, these are the null hypothesis and you basically reject them. So, both the variables are actually significant, but the interesting part is exercise is here showing a negative coefficient and is significant, whereas age continued to remain as a positive coefficient and is significant. So, now it is making sense. So, it shows that the moment you do multiple regression, the sum of the variabilities, you know, some, some part of the variability is actually explained by age and some part of the variability is actually explained by our exercise. The moment age is actually explaining its own part and whatever is left out is explained by um, your exercise, that is actually making a lot of sense that yes. So, with age, my cholesterol level is increasing, but with exercise, my cholesterol level is actually decreasing. And you see that in all the cases, this table R square value is very high, it is like 0 0.98 and the previous case, and the previous tables also, we had R square value very high, it was something like for exercise it was 0.81, for age it was 0 0.97 and so, so forth. But to understand what is happening here, you know, actually you have to run the multiple regression where you will have both the explanatory variables present. Now, to now to now let's try to make sense of it. And if we actually try to draw a diagram, so how how it is different? In the first diagram, we have seen this one, where we had like this, uh, we we plotted cholesterol and exercise, and we saw something like this. Now, what actually is happening is this. So the moment we actually bring in age, it makes a lot of sense. So, what is happening here is that once we sort of draw these different, uh, different lines, different, you know, segments for this different age group, so 10, 20, 30, 40 and so forth, 
what we get is for each of this age group, the cholesterol level is definitely increasing 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 so forth. Now, for each of this age group, what is happening is that the people of that 10 age group keep, you know, like when they are doing the exercise, those people are having low cholesterol. So, for a given age, if you do exercise, then your cholesterol level is actually declining. So, it is true for all the different age groups. So, if you consider only the 10, uh, you know, age group of 10, they are having the sort of, you know, uh, with exercise that cholesterol level is decreasing. If you are taking the age group of 20, if you do exercise, your cholesterol level is declining. If your age group is 30, if you do exercise, uh, your cholesterol level is declining and so forth. So, for each of the age group, we see the same phenomena. So, essentially, it means that the moment you keep the age constant, you, the moment you take the variability away due to age, you can actually see how exercise is playing role and then only it makes sense that that actually tells you that how exercise is actually helpful to sort of uh, get rid of the cholesterol problem, right. So, that is uh, what uh, it uh, the, the table shows. So, essentially if we do not consider the age, it will show that exercise is actually harming us, exercise is actually increasing the cholesterol level, right. So, for a typical person, if I do not consider the age, like if you take the whole sample of the whole population, it will show that exercise is actually harming you because, uh, because you have not controlled the age. But the moment you control for the age, you will see that exercise is actually helpful. So, that is very uh, radically different uh, interpretation. But if only if you are able to use the concept of multiple regression, it is likely that you will come to uh, explanation which is close to reality, right. So, that is the idea of uh, multiple regression and I took this example is a very famous example. It is called uh, Simpson's paradox. So, you can you can actually search for it. So, essentially we will we'll see going forward this is a very like uh, it is used for illustri illustration purpose is a prominent, but it is much more you know it could be much more tricky when you do multiple regression in terms of how these variables are related and so forth. We will see that, but before I proceed to the next topic, let me actually try to explain how it is happening. So, this is what we have seen for education and earning, but if I take this example where we explained how exercise and our um, our age is actually ex explaining the cholesterol level. So, we have this cholesterol, le cholesterol level, if I explain it correctly and here I have my age and here I have my exercise, right. So, what is happening? So, let us say this is the some some you know our constant term. So, like let us say beta 1 or beta 1 and then what I will do? I will use a different color first. So, this is for age and I know that what is happening for age is actually it is sort of increasing the cholesterol level, but whereas for exercise what is happening is it is actually decreasing, right. So, if this is the case, I can actually do a resultant, I can actually draw something resultant of it. Let us say I try to sort of uh, project it. Let us say I will project this line here. This line will move to here and I will project it here. So, essentially if I draw a parallel line here, so that will kind of give me the plane where I will have the resultant value. So, it, it is actually, it is not, you know, the resultant is actually going to be a little less than the overall, uh, you know, uh, effect of age. So, it is kind of exercise is kind of taking it down, okay. So, if, if you see the resultant plane, it is going to be somewhat lower than the, uh, than if you just draw with the age, okay. So, that is basically the idea of multiple regression and in the next lecture, so we have kind of given you this, uh, this tables, but we have not really explained the different terms which are there in the table and in the next lecture, I am going to explain these different terms of regression table. Thank you.